We have a young patient with a subluxary crystalline lens from birth. And we are going to try to extract the cataract and position the crystalline back to its physiologic place. The most important step in this kind of surgeries is to achieve a complete capsulorexis. Without it, we cannot implant neither the ring and probably not the lens into the back to get a good visual acuity in the postoperative period. Young people usually have a very elastic anterior capsule, so we should start with a cystodome and then pull the tissue to the center of the crystalline with a capsulorexis forceps. We can use the iris hooks to help us to position the crystalline back and to stabilize it while we finish our rexis. It is recommended two iris hooks to cover 90 degrees of subluxation of the crystalline. So in this case we are using four iris hooks and we must be very careful not to tighten so much the silicone knot. These kind of devices are not designed to hold the capsule. Because it could break if it's too stretched and complicate our surgery. Once the back is fixed, at least in this area of subluxation, we can continue with our capsulorexis with the forceps, always pulling to the center of the crystalline. If the cataract is not too hard, we prefer to hydrate it with PSS and then gently aspirate the crystalline material with a syncoid cannula. We do not like to use the irrigation aspiration tip of the phaco. Sudden changes in the intraocular pressure can cause a vitreous collapse and complicate our, for the moment, uneventful surgery. Once we have an almost clear crystalline back, we fulfill the anterior chamber with a viscoelastic and then create a groove or a sclera tunnel between 2 and 3 millimeters from the limbus to suture the Sioni capsular tension ring. We pass one of the needles through the hole and then we introduce softly the Sioni ring into the back, taking care that the hole is over the anterior capsule. Only the fact of introducing the ring reduces the subluxation. But now we are going to pass the two needles of a 10 or proline through the scleral tunnel to suture it and fix the ring to the sclera horizontally. It is recommended to ensure at least 6 to 8 suture knots. Then we will be able to extract the iris hooks very carefully and eliminate any remaining crystalline material. And to finish we will implant any type of IOL we want to use in this patient. After that we will seal the conjunctiva with fibrin and then Aspirate the viscoelastic and close the surgical wounds.